We all love sheep. Who doesn't? They're cute, they're fluffy, they give us wool. And let us not forget how charming and cute Artem and Sean the sheep is. But some sheeps aren't identical, like Dolly. Some are very, very unique and strange. These are sheep you won't believe actually exist. Number 15. Jacob Sheep now we're on to the Jacob Sheep. Jacob is in fact also a Middle Eastern figure, known as the grandson of Abraham and the ancestor of the people of Israel. And what's more, he is believed to have been a shepherd. At least that's before he married his cousin Rachel and then began talking to God and doing all kinds of other weird stuff. So maybe that's where the sheep from this topic got its name? Or what they should look like because pretty much if this guy is the one passing his genes but the sheep are not from the Middle East at all, but far, far away in England. These sheep are piebald, which means dark colored with white patches. And they also are remarkable for having multiple horns, usually four, but sometimes six, which make it look just a little demonic in my opinion. In spite of its biblical name, something about its naughty little goat looks that tells me this sheep could have a dark side. They've been around since the 17th century, but it was not until the 1960s that they were officially recognized as a breed. For a long time, it was known as a park sheep, which landowners would keep just to stop their fields looking boring as they gazed out at their vast acres of land. But now they have a more practical use, being farmed for milk, meat, and wool. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Valet Black Nose the Valet Black Nose sheep has black patches on their nose, eyes, ears, knees, and feet, which combined with their slightly shaggy fleece has led them to be described as the world's cutest sheep. They were first recognized as a breed back in 1962, and their fluffy looks have a practical use, keeping them nice and warm on the Swiss mountains where they live. Up on the snow-clad Valet Peaks is not the only place you can track down this cute little sheep, as they also live in some parts of Germany. A breeding program is underway in the US, so keep an eye on your local mountain range, as they may show up at any time. Unfortunately for the Valet Black Noses, they are not quite cute enough to keep the wolves away and are regularly attacked by alpine wolves. Shepherds tend to keep them indoors through the winter, but in the summertime, they are free to graze in the mountains, where they spend all their time hanging out with Haiti. Probably. This breed of sheep is known to be incredibly docile, so if you ever wanted to change things up and bring a new friend into your home, these guys might make a perfect pet. Unless you also have a pet wolf, I guess. Number 13. Badger Face Welsh Mountain Sheep the Badger Face Welsh Mountain Sheep. That's quite a name, and it tells you plenty about the breed already. It lives on a mountain in Wales, and it has a face like a badger. This sheep is a fairly small breed, known for being hardy and low maintenance. There are, in fact, two subtypes. The Tordu, which is Welsh for black stomach, and the Torwen, which means white stomach. And it is the Tordu which looks like a badger. The black parts include the inside of the smaller ears, stripes above the eyes, and a black band running from the chin under the belly to the tip of the tail. The legs, too, have lighter colored stripes. The Torwen, however, has a black face, but this time with white stripes along the eyes, towards the nose, and the small ears have a black outer color. The rams have horns which are spiral-shaped, another distinguishing feature of this crazy-looking breed of sheep. On top of that, they are great all-around sheep with strong lambs, high-quality wool, good milk, and tasty meat. So if you want a great sheep, what more can I say? Get yourself a Welsh badger face. Number 12. Najdi Sheep the Najdi sheep is named for the region it comes from, the Najd part of the Arabian Peninsula in Saudi Arabia. This is one of the most prized sheep in the region, and although it is mainly present in Saudi Arabia, it is also farmed in Oman, Kuwait, and Jordan. This is a kind of luxury sheep, like a woolly Cadillac, a top quality ewe. That's a female sheep can sell for up to $8,000, but a ram 
can sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars, since a ram will be able to produce many more good quality sheep in its lifetime. <laughs> These sheep even have their own sheep beauty contests in Saudi Arabia, where various sheep parade up and down looking as cute as possible, while Saudi men hold up scorecards for the ones they find most attractive. They have what is called a Roman nose and are pretty tall for sheep. They also have long faces with drooping ears, which are considered very desirable in the world of sheep fanciers. They are black but have white faces. They are hardy and well adapted for life in the desert and are well known to produce excellent milk, wool, and meat. Number 11. Shrek Back in 2004, a merino sheep from South Island, New Zealand, shot to fame. His name was Shrek and he was a castrated male, which is known as a weather. Shrek, like his namesake, was a pretty wild character and he had been on the run for six years after escaping his enclosure. The problem for this merino sheep is that his fleece just never stops growing. So by the time he was found again, it had grown enormously. Six years without a trip to the sheathers meant he looked like some biblical creature, according to John Perriam, Shrek's owner. The fleece weighed 60 pounds, which is six times the average fleece. He went onto the shears on live television, yielding an impressive 27 kilograms of wool. And made enough wool to create suits for 20 men. And the rogue sheep was finally caught after living all those years hiding out in caves like an Afghan warrior. It was a momentous day for New Zealand, a country where sheep outnumbered people by a factor of 7 to 1. Live on national television, Shrek was shorn of his glorious fleece. He probably felt a weight on off like nothing before, and public demand was burning for a second shearing. So two years on, he was shorn on live TV once more, this time on an iceberg for some reason. After a wildlife, Shrek died at the age of 16 in 2011. Godspeed, freedom fighter! Number 10. Raka Sheep the Raka breed is of the Zaka type of sheep and is from the nation of Hungary. These sheep are unusual as both rams and ewes have large, spiral-shaped horns, which looks pretty damn cool if you ask me. As with most sheep, they are multi-purpose, being bred for milk, meat, and wool. But the huge horns can grow to more than two feet in length in a mature male. The spirals protrude straight up, and you probably wouldn't want one to start charging at you. Those things look like they might hurt just a touch if Mr. Sheep decided he didn't much like the look of your face. These sheep have two different color patterns. Usually they are brown with bits of white, but sometimes they can also be all black. Out in the sun, that black will turn into a reddish color, and as the sheep ages, it will go gray, just kind of like people do. In spite of the huge horns, these sheep are known for being pretty chilled out, and are even recommended as a good choice for a pet sheep. Number 9. Mouflon The Mouflon is the OG. This is the sheep that started the whole sheep game. And the coolest thing about the Mouflon is that it has remained wild to this day. This is one sheep that will just not be tamed. There are actually five subspecies of Mouflon, and they can be found in Asia and Europe. The Asian ones live in the Caucasus, Iraq, and Iran, while the European ones are in Corsica, Sardinia, and Cyprus. The domestic sheep is considered to have been bred from wild Mouflon all those years ago. So every sheep around today can go ahead and worship its ancient ancestor. In fact, domestic sheep tend to do a little more than just worship Mouflon when they find them. And romantic relations between domestic sheep and Mouflon have led to a hugely reduced number of pure Mouflon, with mixed hybrids taking over, and not really having the best qualities of either. Also, Mouflon are endangered due to poaching, since their amazing horns are prized by collectors, while 
while finally and kind of ironically, habitat destruction leaves them with nowhere to live as humans build industrial farms, which sometimes are home to domestic sheep. Mouflon are pretty big, with rams weighing as much as 220 pounds. They are well adapted to rocky environments and have a thick fleece which guards against the cold. All hail the original sheep. Number 8. Herdwick Sheep England's Lake District was once the favorite place of the great romantic poets like Coleridge, Keats, and Shelley. And nowadays, it's equally loved by powerboat racers and day-tripping tourists. But one thing remains unchanged, and that is the presence of large numbers of Herdwick sheep. They graze high up on the fells and also low down in the fields of the valleys. They have happy-looking faces and shaggy great coats, and are iconic features of the Lake District, with 90% of all Herdwicks living there. And they have been there a long time, introduced during the troubled times of the 10th and the 11th centuries, as Vikings arrived in England as invaders, setting up new communities with new livestock and farming technologies. The Norman Vikings invaded in 1066 and ended the upheaval, and within 100 years, the Herdwick sheep had become an important breed in the Lake District, and that's where they have remained ever since. The sheep has white legs, and the rams have big, curly horns. Famous children's author Beatrix Potter owned a farm in the Lake District, and she cared for many Herdwick sheep during her lifetime. Number 7. Zwartbliss the Zwartbliss sheep is a pretty amazing sheep to look at. This sheep has a black slash brown fleece, a white mark on the face, white socks, and a white tail tip, which is traditionally left undocked. These are some pretty large sheep too. On average, ewes weigh 185 pounds, while rams are around 220 pounds. Their fleece is thick and dense, and the tips of the fleece can become bleached in the sun, giving a cool two-tone effect. Like an early 2000s sports car, I guess. That was cool back then, I, I promise. A anyway, these sheep tend to go a little silver with age, and maybe also start smoking cigars, wearing shirts half unbuttoned, lounging around in five-star hotel bars, and generally just turning into late-era Burt Reynolds, who was partially of Dutch ancestry, just like our sheep here, who, by the way, produce excellent medium-fine wool and are ideal sheep for milking. Which is great news for those of us who love manchego, roquefort, or feta cheese, since all of those are made from sheep's milk. And in New Zealand, they even make vodka from sheep's milk. This animal is like a mobile house party assistant. Cheers to that. Number 6. Beltec Sheep the Beltec sheep is another domestic sheep breed that we just couldn't leave off our list of the world's most unbelievable sheep. It's a crossbreed, partially coming from the Texel breed of sheep. The Texel is a super muscular sheep that originally comes from the Dutch island of Texel. The meat of the Texel is very lean, and the genetics mean that this quality is passed on to the young from any crossbreeding. This has made the Texel one of the most popular meat-producing breeds of sheep in the whole of the Netherlands, making up 70% of the stock. These sheep were so successful that farmers in France and Britain forced changes in their country's laws so they could have some of this super sheep, and their desirability has not slowed one bit, with a new world record of $480,000 paid for a six-month-old Texel ram in 2020. The Beltex is the Belgian version of the Texel, and the Flemish giants are even more muscular with very fine bones, meaning that the Beltex is basically all meat, and they even have double muscles on the hindquarters. That's a lot of lamb chops right there. Number 5. Wensleydale the Wensleydale is another British sheep, and this time we're talking about a true heavyweight. In fact, it is one of the largest and heaviest sheep breeds, not just in Britain, but the entire world. Its face is a blue-gray color, and it has a fleece, which produces long wool, which hangs down in ringlets. Their ears are elongated and stand upright, so it's kind of like the elf of the sheep world. 
or the Vulcan, they also have a characteristic tuft of wool growing off the top of their heads. This breed was named for the region of North Yorkshire it hails from, and it dates back to the early 19th century, when it was produced by crossbreeding a Dishley Leicester ram with a ewe from a breed which has since long gone extinct. The Wensleydale has lost popularity and is now considered an endangered breed, but they are still used for breeding and for wool production in North Yorkshire. The rams weigh about 280 pounds, while ewes tip the scales at around 200 pounds. Let's hope that some Wensleydale enthusiasts can help us keep this amazing sheep breed alive. Number 4. Black Welsh Mountain Sheep The Black Welsh Mountain Sheep is a black sheep from Wales that lives on a mountain. How about that? The black wool produced by the sheep is known as Kuchdu in Welsh. Did you know about the Welsh language? It's spoken by around 20% of the Welsh population of Wales, as well as a large number of the inhabitants of the Welsh colony in Argentina. And in wartime, the British army sometimes uses Welsh to send secure communications, since the enemy probably doesn't usually have a whole lot of Welsh speakers nearby to figure out what's being said. Anyway, they have cool words like Kuchdu and a ton of other sheep-related words, because there's seriously a lot of sheep in Wales, and the relationship between the Welsh and their sheep is considered to be intimate and meaningful. After all, there are more than 10 million sheep there, and only about 3 million people, so they better be nice to the sheep. If they decide to rise up and overthrow the Welsh Parliament, we could see the first establishment of a sheep-run government in the world, and I would bet that a black Welsh mountain sheep would be the first president for life. Number 3. Pharaoh Sheep the Faroe Islands are an archipelago which lies between Iceland, Scotland, and Norway. The Nordic people living there are kept warm by the Gulf Stream, which blows warm air up from Mexico and makes things a little more livable than that latitude would normally be. Still, it's a pretty chilly place, and the island sheep are appropriately hardy. In fact, in the very ancient Norse language, it is believed that Faroe means sheep island. So the Faroe sheep is in fact the sheep island sheep. So that all makes perfect sense. They were introduced to the islands back in the 9th century, and are now one of the most important parts of Faroese tradition. The Faroese sheep comes in more than 300 color combinations, and even appears in the island's coat of arms, which is way cooler than the usual lions, dragons, and unicorns. Finally, some sheep love on a battle shield. These sheep tend not to have a flocking instinct, since they have no natural predators on the island, and so will roam pretty freely by themselves. They are also small, with ewes weighing around 45 pounds, and rams being around double that. Number 2. Arapawa Back to the other great sheep-loving nation of the earth, New Zealand. The Arapawa sheep is a feral sheep found mainly on the Arapawa Island in the Marlborough Sounds. They have been isolated there since they were first introduced back in 1867. No one knows for sure how exactly the sheep got there, leading to many conspiracy theories, but it is likely they are descended from a strain of Australian merino sheep. The New Zealand Rare Breeds Conservation Society classifies this breed as rare. Both rams and ewes have horns, with the ram's horns growing up to three feet in length and presenting a spiral pattern. Living in the hostile and challenging terrain of the island, this sheep has a kind of weather-beaten appearance, often hunched like it is shielding itself from the wind, which I guess it probably is. They are pretty active with long legs, slim faces, and slender ears. Usually they are all black, just like the country's famous rugby team. But sometimes they have flecks of white too. Very rarely an all-white Arapawa is born, and may be considered to be some kind of messiah or demon. Who knows what sheep think about that kind of thing? Number 1. Manx Lothan Another island sheep, this time it's the Manx Lothan from the Isle of Man. The Isle of Man is an island belonging to the UK and is located between Great Britain 
and Ireland. It is considered to be of the Celtic nations, along with Wales, Ireland, Brittany, Scotland, and Cornwall. Each Celtic nation has its own language, although in Cornwall and the Isle of Man, the language is now extinct as a spoken language, having been entirely replaced by English. So, don't expect to hear any shepherds calling their sheep in the Manx language on the Isle of Man. The sheep in question is a long-legged, fine-boned animal with a brown fleece, and it is considered one of the more primitive breeds, and they can have up to six horns on their heads. Their fleece is one of the most hard-wearing, and its rich brown color means it's highly desirable for knitwear. So this is a sheep you will want to be seen wearing in the fashion hotspots of the world. Milan, Paris, New York, I mean, not the actual sheep. Maybe a sweater made of its wool wearing a whole sheep would be kind of bizarre. Which of these sheep amazed you the most? Do you live in a country with more sheep than people? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.